Edit with me and by the end you will have this fitness video edited right in front of you. Kind of cool, kind of basic as well. Believe me, that is not that complicated. I'm gonna show you every single step I took to get to that level. Okay, so first thing, let's have a look at the footage that we have. It's this kind of fast, upbeat clips of this dude and this woman uh, in the gym. So first step, to find some music that actually matches this, okay? I go onto YouTube and go to the audio library because they've actually got some pretty good stuff there. I want a sound that has something kind of like a modern feel, but also has like a, a beat, a hit to it. So I'm gonna search for future bass. I find this track called Cloud Chaser. Yep, I think that sounds quite cool. So I'm gonna download it and then import it into Final Cut Pro. So go up to the top right, click the arrow, and then find the music track in your downloads or wherever it is, and then assign the role music, that's very important, and then import. So next thing is to find out how we can play with the music to actually edit it. For this, I'm gonna add markers at the different beats, the end of each bar, or the end of each four bars, or whatever it is, I don't know how to exactly phrase it, but you'll see what I mean. So if I play through this here, I'm gonna press M for each big beat, basically. Now, because this is just an intro, I don't wanna play the whole song. What I wanna do is just use the bits of the first bit of the song that really stand out to me. I love that do 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 kind of gap, the drum thing that goes do 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 So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out that second chunk there, so now it goes from the first bit to the d -d 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 drum and I've aligned it perfectly so it all matches to the beat. Okay, first thing, because it's the start, it's the first thing that people will see on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or whatever, get a face right there big on screen. That's what really works with these social media clips is people will turn off within the first two seconds. So get something that's right in your face. Now, as I say, we want the first part to be kind of eye catching. So I'm gonna add a Ken Burns effect. You go to the transform slash crop button in the corner there, click crop, then click Ken Burns. Here, the green square or rectangle is where the zoom will start and the red rectangle is where the zoom will end. So for this, I want it to start really close up on the face, like I told you, then it will zoom out like that. So instantly we've got that kind of quick zoom out to get people's attention. Here I'm using the trim tool, i.e. T, to make jump cuts for this whole sequence. So a jump cut is when some movement or some action has very obviously been removed. At least that's one type of jump cut, there are different types. So in this case, I'm removing a kind of middle chunk of him doing a press up because it's gonna suddenly judder and it will kind of really match the music. This next part is I'm gonna do something that's called a compound clip in FCPX. So what that will do is it will kind of link all of the clips that you select into one giant clip. Right click, compound clip, and then name it, something like push-ups, and there we go. It's now one giant clip. I can then click that compound clip and make a Ken Burns effect, just like I did before. So again, the red rectangle is where the zoom will end and the green rectangle is where the zoom will start. Now here is where I want to add some text. So I'm clicking on the clip, going on to crop within the inspector, five, six, eight pixels on the left and the right, then go to connect title. So what that will do is it will just straight away bring a blank title on top of the clip. So whatever the company is, in this case I'm going to call it Grey Ice, because that's kind of like a cool name for a fitness company I suppose, I don't know, whatever. And here I'm going to move it behind the clip by moving it underneath it in the timeline. You see that? I'm moving it back on top just so I can see where I'm putting it, making it bigger than the gap because I want it to be hidden, like I said, moving it to the left and then putting it back underneath and there we go. It's kind of hidden by the, the guy moving, do you see that? Next thing is I want it to appear on the beat. So I'm going to put it right to the top and then duplicate it two or three times and then make those duplicates appear on the beat like that. Next to do the text on the right hand side. So for this, I'm going to just duplicate the bottom clip again and change the word to ice. I'm going to adjust the tracking of this clip because I don't want the text to get bigger necessarily. I just want the text to spread out because it's a word with less letters. So it needs to spread out to fill the same space. So adjust the tracking, move it to the right hand side, duplicate it three times just like before, then test that it works by watching it to the beat. Um. 
this next part is something that is very popular with these kind of fitness videos is speed ramping or at least changing the speed of the same clip next to each other. Make sure you've got a clip that is a high frame rate, i.e. higher than the normal frame rate of your timeline. What you can do to check that is click the clip and then go up to the inspector and check the frame rate. So here, this clip is 50p. That means 50 frames per second. The timeline that we've selected is 25 frames per second. So what that means is you can half the speed and it will match perfectly. Select it, find a nice piece and then press Q to bring it on top of the music. What I'm going to do here is find a beat of the song and then blade the clip. Then change the speed of this new clip, okay? So then as you're watching, you'll be going normal speed, normal speed of him going back and forth on the row machine, row machine, and then suddenly it'll change. So click on the clip, then click on the little time change tool there, then go down to slow, then go down to half. Then at the end, I'm going to find another beat of the song to play with, and I'm going to blade the clip again, but this time I'm going to speed it back up again. Then again, I'm going to find another bit, speed that up by double. And then again and again and again, I'm going to go double times four times eight. And suddenly the end of that clip is going to suddenly speed up right at the end. I feel like this slow motion bit at the start is a good opportunity to add some more text. So give more context to the video, okay? So again, connect title, it's just blank at the moment. Go up to the title editor and type in what the video is actually about. So for here it's going to be training or fitness training or a one-stop shop for fitness training, something like that, okay? Now there's a very handy gap in the frame here because he is on the right hand side and on the left hand side there's just basically nothing. It's got a lot of white space. That is very handy because it means it lends itself to some text. Now this will only really work if you make the text contrast to the background by making it dark or at least darker than white. I don't want the text to just suddenly appear out of nowhere, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it kind of like fade across. I'm going down to the bottom and I'm selecting graduated mask as an effect. Drag that onto the title clip, then go right up to the top and then click the inspector, find the graduated mask effect on it and then play around so you can see the text gradually appearing and disappearing. Once you've found that, you can then create a keyframe effect. Find the right hand most point for the fade, like that, and then click the keyframe button on the right hand side to kind of make a, an animation start, basically. Make sure your playhead is right at the start of the clip, and then move the playhead to the middle of the clip, move the fade to the left hand side of the text so it all appears, and then there we go, you've got an animation. The text slowly appears with a fade. <laughs> Okay, now here is the doot 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 drum part that I told you about before. For this, I think we need a bit of impact. We need the most impactful part of all the footage. So, that's the boxing. So I'm going to find this specific part just before the punch hits the camera. Then, I'm going to drag those tiny clips down, connected to the music, on the beat. And here is, I suppose, the final part of the intro, it's to introduce the guy's name. Okay, now I don't know his name, I'm just going to make it up. Don't need to add much effect to it, just basically show the man doing what he's doing. But specifically, I want to start the clip with a bit of a flash. So, that light that appears behind his head, use that to start the entire clip. Now, just like before, I'm going to play with the speed. So find a part of the clip that has his face in view, because ultimately you should show someone's face, really, if you're introducing them by name. Um, so find that clip, drag it to the start, and slow it down. For this middle part that's on normal speed, I'm adding a Ken Burns effect. So again, red rectangle is where the zoom ends, green rectangle is where the zoom starts. And one last time, connect title. Make sure it's all the same font as you've used previously. This is a kind of basic rule really. Don't play with different fonts for one video. You can then use different styles of that font for different occasions. So for here I'm using a more heavy italic for his name, but a more light italic for the with text. Lovely. I think we're almost there. Just to add a bit more uniformity, I'm going to change the colour by making the background dark and then making it all a bit more teal. So this will match the colour of the text before and the teal background on the grey ice section. Okay, so now let's watch it and see. Awesome. If you liked that, then please give this video a like and tell me below. Uh, make sure you subscribe as well because I'll be releasing a new tutorial like this every single week. 
My name is George, this is Jam Punch, and I'll see you next time.